In this video, we're going to cover some of the problems from our homework that are involved in graphing and writing equations in circles. First problem from uh, chapter 9.3 asks us to graph the equation of the circle identified below. So we recall that the formula for a circle is x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared, with r being the radius. So we can find out what the radius is by setting r squared equal to 12 and then solving for r. So r will be the square root of 12 or r is equal to 2 root 3, which is roughly 3. So now we're going to graph the circle. And so I mark out, since the circle um, is three, approximately 3 units away from the origin, I know it's going to be three units up from the origin, three units down, three units to the right, and three units to the left. So all I need to do is create a circle that goes through all of those points. So I identified those points, and I create my circle, and I see here that the circle now goes through all of those points. So all you need to do is graph the x-coordinates and the y-coordinates, or the coordinates on the x-axis and the coordinates on the y-axis, and then draw a circle through those points. So I have 0, 3 here, or it should be really 0, 2, root 3. Uh, and then I have 2, root 3, 0 here, and so on and so forth. So now I've graphed my circle with a proper radius. Next question number 11 asks us to write the standard form of an equation of the circle with a radius of 6 and whose center is at the origin. And again, the equation for a circle with a center at the origin is x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared squared. So all we need to do is plug in the value for the radius. So I have x squared plus y squared is equal to 6 squared or x squared plus y squared is equal to 36. In the next question, number 14, we're asked to write the standard form of the equation of a circle that passes through point 22 and whose center is at the origin. So here's our center. I draw out two units to the right and two units up on the y-axis. I identify the point. Now I can figure out what the radius is, remember, because the radius is just the hypotenuse of that right triangle that we create, whose legs are the x change and the y change. So I can see that the x change is just going to be from 0 to 2 or 2, and the y change will be, again, from 0 to 2 or 2. And if I put that into the Pythagorean theorem of a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, or x squared plus y squared is equal to the radius squared, then I see that I have 4 plus 4 is equal to the radius squared of 8, and the radius will equal 2 root 2. So the radius is 2 root 2, and our equation, again, using the formula for the equation of a circle with a center at the origin, x squared plus y squared is equal to is equal to r squared. I have x squared plus y squared is equal to 8. In the final question, we're asked to write an equation of a line tangent to the circle identified below it. x squared plus y squared is equal to 52 at the point negative 4, 2. So again, that's the line tangent to the circle identified below at point negative 4, 2, where x squared plus y squared is equal to 20. And a little type in there, typo that said 52. So it is x squared plus y squared is equal to 20. And we're trying to find the uh, equation for the line that's tangent to the circle at that point. So the first thing we want to do is we want to mark off our point. I have negative 4 and a positive 2 is our point. And then I'm going to draw a line to that point. And then I'm going to create a line that's tangent or perpendicular to the circle at this point. So 
by definition, lines that are tangent to points and circles are going to be perpendicular. So I draw that line, I identify the right angle. So the first thing I want to do is I want to find my slope of uh, the radius at this point. And the slope is just going to be the change in y over the change in x. Change in the y values over the change in the x. And this is fairly straightforward since I'm just differentiating or creating a difference between the origin at 0, 0 and this point. So my change will just be I'm going down 2 and I'm going over to the right 4. So the slope is negative 2 over 4 or negative 1 half. Well, I know that the slope of the line that's perpendicular to the radius will have the uh, slope, which is the opposite reciprocal. And the opposite reciprocal is going to be uh, just 2. Now I can use the point-slope form to create my equation. And the point-slope form, if you remember, is y minus y1 is equal to the slope times x minus x1. And so I rewrite y minus y1, which is the point in question uh, for 2. So I have y minus 2 is equal to the slope, which is 2, times x minus a minus 4, which is just plus 4. So we're subtracting this one point here. So I'm going to distribute the 2. y minus 2 is equal to 2x plus 8. And then finally add the 2. So I have y is equal to 2x plus 10. And that's the equation for the line that is tangent to the circle at point negative 4, 2.